Hey Nintendo fans and collectors, this is Lithium017 from my channel, Nintendo Collecting 101, bringing you collecting tip number 32. This one's called Compilation Discs, or Compilation Sets. When you're buying games, sometimes you come across a game that's not quite one game. There's many on one disc or on one cartridge. These are excellent opportunities to pick up many games in one bundled set. I usually like playing the game actually on the original cartridge if I can help it, but sometimes games are just so expensive to buy individually. When you're collecting, or if you're just gaming, you might want to pick up one that is actually a compilation disc or a compilation cartridge, such as some of the ones I have here. I do have a few others. I'm actually missing the Zelda compilation disc or the compilation disc for the Nintendo GameCube with the four games on it. I have it, but it's at school. So I'm not going to talk about it in here, but yes, it's a very popular one. Perhaps one of the most popular ones is Super Mario All-Stars. And Super Mario All-Stars was just recently re-released on the Nintendo Wii as this exclusive, very rare limited edition uh, set. I don't know if it's very rare, but they're very collectible. I'm keeping this one sealed. I've never opened it. Uh, as you can see, it still has the sticker there. And this one's actually a direct port of the Super Nintendo version. So it has Mario 1, 2, 3, the Lost Levels, and I don't think this one has World, unfortunately. So it's nice to have them on one nice, convenient cartridge, and you can play four of the games on one. And this is possibly one of the most famous compilation sets. Definitely get it if you don't have it. But they can save you some money. If you're trying to buy Mario 1, 2, and 3, you might not want to spend that much money on all of them. Plus the lost levels, you can't even normally play over here because that was Super Mario 2 over in Japan, but we got Mario 2 USA, which was just Doki Doki Panic. I'm still bitter about that. So sometimes compilation sets have games that you actually have never played before or were never able to play in your own language. Definitely a good idea to pick them up. Even if you have them already, sometimes it's a better idea just to play them on the compilation set. There was a Ninja Gaiden trilogy that is out for the Super Nintendo, and this one is very, very hard to find. If you get it with the box and the manual, you're talking about hundreds of dollars, and just for the game itself can go for almost $100. This is Ninja Gaiden 1, 2, and 3 from the NES, I believe, all on one awesome disc. Disc. Cartridge. Clearly it's a cartridge. And these things just might not have sold all that well, but... They're guaranteed to be fantastic sets, and I would definitely try and pick them up whenever I can. The Mega Man X series is just ridiculously awesome. It's such a good series. I love Mega Man X 1, 2, and 3. I haven't really played the other ones, but the GameCube had this collection disc, and I've been able to try and play through this. It's got seven games in one. I don't quite like it as much playing it on the GameCube. I prefer a Super Nintendo controller, but you choose your battles. Definitely another great one to get. Sonic being such a lovable, awesome character, he has a few Mega Collection sets, and some of them are out for PlayStation as well. This one's the Sonic Gems Collection, and then this is the Sonic Mega Collection. Pretty much any retro Sega game that you could ever want, could ever like, were definitely out on these two sets. I'm not sure if Sega CD... No, yeah, this one does have Sega CD on it, so if you're wondering, Sega CD is not on this one, it's on this one, which makes this one just worthwhile buying, definitely. There are some other compilation sets. The Metroid Prime Trilogy is actually not even in sale anymore, it's not even in production anymore, but this has Metroid Prime 1, 2, and 3, all with new play controls on the Nintendo Wii, one of the best compilation sets you can get out there. It's, if you can get it for under $100 with the new play control, I still think it's a deal, but it's so rare, it's so collectible. This one is sealed. I have another one that's open that I play. And then there's more modern compilation series. Like, this one is the Bit Trip Complete series. If you've never played Bit Trip Runner, run out and get Bit Trip Runner. You can download it for the Wii, or you can try and pick up this one. This game is kind of hard to find, but I bought it online. It's made by Arxis. It's six games on one disc, all amazing retro games that look like this where the music kind of is involved into the gameplay and it's a bit of a synesthesia experience synesthetic i'm not sure combination of senses with the experience it's amazing but bit trip runner is definitely my favorite and if you were to download each game individually it's something like 10 bucks but this set was 30 or 40 dollars and it even came with a music disc very very cool 
So I definitely suggest to you as a collector to get these compilation disc sets. Over time, they're almost always worth money and they're almost always worthwhile to play. That's collecting tip number 32. Have a great day, everyone, and thanks for watching.